Hey everybody and welcome to episode 286 of Unboxing Wednesdays for Comics Arriving in Stores on Wednesday, April 20th, 2016. <laughs> Ricky, we are so close to free comic book day, man. It's crazy. Man. Every day I go over to the calendar, mark a little X as we get closer, <laughs> yeah. and there's more X's. It's and like the one day you can feel alive. Yeah, and then I, I put <laughs> I put a big circle over May 7th, and yeah, you're right. The rest of the, the, the year I just feel dead inside. But that's all right. You know, May 7th, it's all good. We, you know we what feel May alive. 7th is? What's that? My birthday. No. Oh, yeah. Your birthday's on free comic book day? That's pretty awesome, man. You're a lucky man. You're a lucky man. Do I get double free comics? No, you don't. You don't. But I will, however, let you set up a table in our artist alley that day. So that'll be my gift to you. We've got a lot going on for Free Comic Book Day. I encourage all of you who are considering Stadium Comics for your Free Comic Book Day needs to check out uh, freecomicbookday.ca. Ricky, if you could like... Uh, Link that up here, freecomicbookday.ca. That'll direct you to our free comic book day here at Stadium. We, we run one of the largest free comic book days in North America. We have a ton of guest artists that are going to be coming, including Leonard Kirk, uh, Marco D'Alfonso, Jamal Campbell, Ricky Lima, and a lot of uh, other awesome guests. you see all the details at freecomicbookday.ca. Also there, Ricky, we have posted a bunch of our door crashers. We've released the information early this year so that everybody can uh, save up their pennies to buy the awesome door crashers that we're going to be having. Um, several of them are listed on our site right now. You can look at them and see the reasons why you should be interested in them. And uh, while I speak these words, a scrolling image of the door crashers are going past the screen because Ricky has the mad editing skills. And of course, keep an eye out for our free comic book day video that's coming later this week where we're going to show you all of the books that will be available for free on Saturday, May 7th at your participating free comic book day retailer. With all that out of the way, Ricky, Let's go ahead and open some boxes. All right, while Ricky's putting all the books away, I just want to talk to you guys real quick about uh, some stuff that's new on StadiumComics.com, our online store. And uh, on there, you're going to find uh, Phase 1 of DC Rebirth collector's packs available for sale on there now. Two packs to choose from. One is $39.99. The other is $77.99, depending on how many of the Rebirth uh regular covers and variants you want and you can also uh, pre-order individual issues uh, so like if you wanted uh, to buy our collector's pack but also wanted like five copies of Batman number one you can do that uh, on our web store so check that out uh, lots of fun stuff going on there concerning Rebirth alright first up for the collected editions we have this awesome Batman Elseworlds volume one this uh, recollects some of the long out of print El Elseworlds books featuring the Cape Crusader. I Hate Fairyland Volume 1 by Scotty Young. Some classic 90s Nightwing by Chuck Dixon and Scott McDaniel. Um, of course, Nightwing in the DC Rebirth world going back to his black and blue uniform. Deadpool and Cable, the entire miniseries collected here. And the all new, all different Deadpool Volume 1. New today from Marvel as well is the Star Wars Vader Down story. This was a crossover between the Darth Vader and Star Wars books. Okay, we've got Tokyo Ghost issue number six. Black Eyed Kids number one from Aftershock. Black Eyed Anything is usually pretty scary when, uh, when it's on TV or in movies, especially Black Eyed Peas. From Chapter House, we've got some Chapter House archives of Captain Canuck. Some classic stories reprinted. New from Chapter House today is all new classic Captain Canuck. And this cover is by our good friend Michael Ruth. Good job, Mike. And here's the regular Captain Canuck series, issue number eight. We also have the Pitiful Human Lizard, issue seven, hitting shelves today. And those of you all over the world who want to know about our neighbors just to the south of Stadium, the city of Mississauga, you'll get to know all about them in this uh, month's issue of Pitiful Human Lizard by our pal Jason Liu. Chew Demon Chicken Poyo one shot. Also has a blank variant. James Bond issue number six. Four Kids Walk Into a Bank by Black Mass Studios. I've been hearing a lot of good hype and buzz around this book. Uh, definitely check it out if you're looking for something to pick up this week. Gem and the Holograms number 14. Street Fighter Unlimited number five. We also have this awesome variant for this book that is a tribute to 
that Batman Nightfall issue where Bane breaks Batman's back, except this time it's Zangief and Ryu. Transformers, all hail Optimus, number 52. From Titan Comics, we have DreamWorks Puss in Boots, number one. Back to the Future, number seven. Madballs, issue number one. Who remembers Madballs? It's pretty awesome. Cry Havoc, number four from Image. Huck, number six from Mark Millar and Raphael Albuquerque. A new one from Matt Kent and Dark Horse, it is Depth. Oh yeah, we've been really excited about this one. It is The Fourth Planet, issue number one by our good friend, Fred Kennedy. And uh, this is the first issue of the book. Uh, once a very popular webcomic, now uh, a single issue in print comic. All right, and another one of our good friends, Marcus Toe, has his creator-owned book from Boom Studios at today. It is Joyride, issue number one. Very happy to see this from Marcus. We've looked inside the book, it looks amazing. You guys should definitely check it out if you're into some sci-fi stuff. Uh, Joyride is definitely for you. Moving on to DC Comics, we've got Teen Titans Go number 15. Action Comics 51, the regular cover and the John Romita variant. Injustice Gods Among Us Year 3 number 8. Superman Lois and Clark number 7. If you're following the news about Rebirth, this series just became very, very important when it comes to the future of the DC Universe. Superman American Alien number 6. Robin Son of Batman number 11. Here's the John Romita cover. Doctor Fate, number 11. Aquaman, number 51. Here's the Flash, number 50. Titans Hunt, number seven, and the Neil Adams variant. Poison Ivy, Cycle of Life and Death, number four. Wonder Woman, number 51, and the John Romita Jr. variant cover. And finally, Harley's Little Black Book, issue number three. Speaking of Harley Quinn, we also got this variant in today. It's Superman, number 50, featuring Harley Quinn on the cover. This is a Dynamic Forces variant limited to only 2,000 copies. All right, moving on to Marvel, we've got a few second prints to show you. First up is the second printing of Extraordinary X-Men number eight. Then we've got a third printing of Spider-Man Deadpool number two, and a fourth printing of Spider-Man Deadpool number one. First printings of this book selling for like 20 to $30 online right now. Pretty crazy when uh, you consider Spider-Man Deadpool, there's probably a lot of a lot of them that were out there originally, but they're very hard to come by now. Um, so if you've got a first print of that, hold on to it or sell it for 20 to 30 bucks. Captain America Road to War. This is uh, some classic Cap stories reprinted. Power Man and Iron Fist number three. Stephen King, Drawing of the Three, Bitter Medicine, number one of five. Hyperion, number two. Here's Nova, number six. The Mighty Thor, number six. Captain America, Sam Wilson, issue eight has two covers. One is a Civil War variant. Here's all new Hawkeye number six. Karnak number three. Spider-Man Deadpool number four. Deadpool number 10, along with the Civil War variant. Astonishing Ant-Man number seven, and a Civil War variant for that book. Obi-Wan and Anakin number four. New Avengers number 10. Howard the Duck number six. Uncanny Inhumans number seven. Deadpool Mercs for the Money number three. This is now an ongoing series. Totally Awesome Hulk number five with a play on the Civil War cover. Silk number seven. Here is the J. Scott Campbell variant. Extraordinary X-Men number nine. And the Extraordinary X-Men number nine Civil War variant. All right, guys. So last week I asked you what you were most excited for with DC's Rebirth. Uh, Captain Cummings said, I'm excited for Greg Rucka on Wonder Woman because he's a badass. Time to kick some ass. I agree, man. Greg Rucka, he's a great writer, so... I have all the hope in the world for Wonder Woman. Even if it's like half of what the Azarello Cliff Chang run was like, that's good enough for me. Comic Guys Rules says, I'm looking forward to the new $2.99 price point. It means on my fixed budget, I can get a lot more DC goodness to read. You're wrong, Comics Guy Rules. I thought that too, but Kevin pointed out, since one book is coming out twice a month, you're actually paying more for the story. Sure, I mean you get more, but a month you're actually paying more for the books. Bastards. They got you. Mike Irish had a question for me. He said, Rick, you didn't like Death of the Family WTH, which is what the hell for uh, you uninitiated people. And I'm, I feel like I need to explain myself. I didn't necessarily hate Death of the Family. I was just annoyed that nobody died. I was expecting someone to die. Nobody died. And then Robin dies in Batman International, like, the next week. What the hell, man? So I guess it's not Scott Snyder's problem. He, he just, a slave to the man, 
who decided that this is what's going to happen. And that annoyed me. Jonathan Rodriguez said, I'm really excited for Batman because, as you know, The Vision is one of the best books of Marvel history. Why not have Tom King's Batman being uh, one of the best books of DC history? I mean, who's not excited for that? Boom. Nail hit on the head. Batman's going to be the best book ever. But the winner who will be entered into the draw at the end of the month goes to Entron475, who says, I'm excited for the return of Nightwing. It'll be interesting to see how they pull it off after being away since the aftermath of Forever Evil. Will his identity still be known, or will they do something similar to what happened to Spider-Man after his identity was revealed? It's great questions, and I know a lot of people love Nightwing, so I feel like Nightwing's going to be at the center of a lot of things happening in uh, DC's Rebirth, so um, keep an eye out on Nightwing. Hopefully they get rid of all that stuff with his identity and everything, and just have some sweet Nightwing stories, you know? Alright guys, so this week's question relates to Mad Balls. What the hell is this? Well, I guess on the back they have an ad for the real Mad Balls. So this was a toy that was really popular late 80s, early 90s. It basically you just squish it and it's like squishy. And they're gross. So that's basically what that is. Uh, now what I'd like to hear from you is what toy line deserves its own comic. It could be from the 80s, could be from the 90s, could be from today. Whenever, any toy, what which toy line deserves a comic. Personally, I think that all the weird Spider-Man toys deserve their own comic. You know the ones that's like, Aqua Battle Spider-Man, and it's like, nothing like in the comic. You're like, who is this man? Or like, Night Vision Spider-Man. He's got like goggles on for some reason. I don't know. They, I remember in the 90s, they had a whole bunch of just random toys based on these heroes that they'd send out, and it was, it was always crappy. But I would read a comic. Maybe they could bring back Spider-Verse. Put all these weird Spider-Man in it, that'd be good. So let me know in the comments what toy line from any point in history you'd like to see made into a comic. Best answer would be put into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please uh, remember to check out our free comic book day uh, unboxing video. That'll be on our channel a little later this week. Remember to follow us on Periscope. Follow us on Snapchat, Stadium Comics on both platforms, and you can connect with us on any of the other websites you see listed here on the screen. Uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you guys all next time for episode 287. Enjoy your comics this week.